beginning of another day. Um, I've got one section to finish hardware cloth on up on the top, um, sanding the front doors, putting hardware cloth on those, uh, mounting them with the hinges. I'm gonna start off with taking all of the locks off of the doors, filling the holes, and putting them a different way, because um, later today I've gotta go buy more locks to um, make them work properly. I'm gonna lock the upper and lower of each door on the back and the side, and then I'm only gonna do the locks like that on the front end, on the top of each door, and I'm gonna have a latch in the middle. That way, anything wants to get in and open it up, you've gotta do multiple ways to open it. Um, and I'll probably move it outside. I'm not sure yet. It's a really nice day out. Um, it'll give me a little more room in here to work, laying out the hardware cloth, cutting the hardware cloth, um, and then I can get around to everything. I'm also gonna try to put on the tar paper on the top Remark where my where my uh, rafters on the on the on the uh, middle are, and um, I might get one side of the metal put on today. Um, I've still got the ramp to do and the door to the coop, but I'm going to wait on that until I get everything else on the outside completed and ready to go. Um, so anyhow. I've got a duck egg to take in, and then I'll be working on the project. So when uh, when I turn the camera back on, I'll be moving along. the end to another day let's go ahead and go through what we got done and what we didn't so I got the ramp ladder whatever you want to call it I got it done the door not so much I'm still trying to figure out why it's sticking I think I got it now um, so I'm gonna work on that again tomorrow or maybe later this evening I'm not sure yet um, and then I can get the wire connected properly. So, the only other things I had nesting box, which is done. Don't know if. Okay, there it is. Um, let's go ahead and open the other door. Uh, there. Okay nesting box in the corner 
secured. I've got a uh, piece of wood here. I left an opening here to blow out anything that gets underneath the nesting box um, or to sweep it out, whatever they want to do. Um, let's see. What else was there to do? I think that was about it, other than the air vent covers, which I can do as well. Um, but the main, the main hang up here is the door. I'm trying to find out why the door will not slide closed properly and stay open properly. So I will keep working on it. Anyhow. Um, I did a little video footage earlier today while I was working, but then my tripod broke and the camera wouldn't stay up, so I don't know how much footage I got, but anyhow, um, the door is the only thing left I've got other than a little sanding here and there, um, and really they don't care about the sanding, they're going to paint it, but I, I don't want to send it away without sanding a little bit of it, um, so anyhow, that's it for today. We'll update again tomorrow. All right, so I am finally completely done with the mobile coop build that I was doing. Um, I call it mobile because it has wheels on the back end. It is kind of big for mobile. Uh, so, but you can move it and it'll house up to, I think, it's like a four by five with an eight foot run. Um, I think it's like eight chickens comfortably. Um, they're only going to have a couple, four, five, six. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't remember. Uh, I think the hardest part for me on this build, not including the the roof, the rafters on the roof, would be the sliding door. Getting that door to slide properly up and down. Um, I finally got it. It's working. So go ahead and I'll show you the build, show you the, the finished product. All right, let's see. So let me get over to it. The one thing I didn't get, I was gonna put cotter pins on this bar to keep it in place. It kind of stays there. Um, they can take it out. They can open the front. It locks in two different ways. Each door has its individual lock. And then you have a latch. So it'll open. We'll go ahead and I'll walk you around when I'm done. But um, this is a cover, that's all it is. It lets air in on the sides. It's in case, you know, it's raining real hard or um, cold winter weather. The door here it's it works now. And I have another cover on the back air vent on the back side. Does the same thing. Uh, and we've already seen the doors on the sides. I washed the roof um, where I had marked it for my uh, roofing screws, for my metal roof screws. Let's go ahead and walk you around real quick. So, I'll show you. Let 
Here's the, the door. And up close, I've just got a latch up here. That's all I got to do. Right there. And the door right here, I have I have a hook for when it's open and a hook to just hang it on. It's shut. It's open. The ladder's inside on the floor. I didn't bring it back out. And then of course we have the same kind of latching system on this door, these doors, um, and on these doors. And like I said, the cover on the back. So, this is completely done. Um, go ahead and it's completely done. Uh, I'm see a spot that I want to sand on the front end, but I've got a few minutes to do that. This took me a lot longer than I had anticipated to build. So, um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the end result. I think it'll work well. I think they'll be happy with it. Um, so anyhow, there it is. The end of another build and I'm not sure what my next project will be yet so we're working on figuring that part out um, so I guess we'll see you in the next video there goes the trailer with the chicken coop on it so